course, October 31st is more than just Halloween. Tomorrow kicks off Day of the Dead celebration. So 17 Cecilia Trevino joins us now. Yeah, that's her. Uh, I know. It's so funny. Up. So Kevin was here uh, earlier and he was like, who's that? And I'm like, it's <laughs> your coworker, Cecilia. Uh, no, Cecilia, though, I'm really glad we're talking about this because I think that this is such a an amazing tradition. You know, mm -hmm. Hispanic families uh, really honoring their loved ones and not just honoring them, but keeping their story alive. Yes. I know, I know it might look scary. I promise you I'm happy. I just, I can't smile with these. <laughs> I was trying to channel a little sugar skull. All right. By I'm the way. I'm making my best attempt. So I hope I'm hitting it right in you the head. You did. You did such a good job. She did this by herself. I mean, that's what's I great. I did. It's yeah. all me. So I know this celebration might look scary, but it's all about celebrating our loved ones. So take a look. When the marigolds bloomed and the candles were lit, many Hispanics knew it was time to set up the altar. They didn't really taught us. They did it unconsciously. Uh, you know, it was always like, help me, you know, with the, with the branches. Help me put the fruit. Help me cook the food. Gladys Flores is putting up a Oaxacan indigenous altar for the first time at the historic Union Cemetery for the traditional Day of the Dead celebration. In my community, as uh, from, from the Mixteco community, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really have many, many steps. Altars with seven levels symbolize the seven steps to heaven. Altars with just three levels symbolize heaven, earth, and the purgatory. Flores puts holy water and copal incense to guide her loved ones to her altar at home. But it doesn't matter how you do your altar, as long as it's not missing the most important thing. It could be very small, but uh, you put the love into uh, the, for, for that person that it's gone. A tradition that has gained popularity worldwide and welcomes everyone. That is just so awesome just to go and finally start seeing that, you know, our, our traditions, it's being recognized and it's also being celebrated here. This is, this is for everybody. And as a reminder, we have a full list of events on our website, KGT.com. I couldn't finish the story without having some Pan de Muerto, Day of the Dead bread. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I cut some big uh, pieces, okay. but you press? guys have to try it out. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. All right, oh, this go. looks so good. A, you can, I'm you can starting. Try I don't try to choose the smallest piece. one. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you going to have one? I should. Yeah, I should. absolutely. Okay. Let's go. Now we're all chewing, though. We can't talk. Mm, that is good. Huh. Mm -hmm. Here, so Erica, can you take this? Amazing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Cecilia, thank you so much. Um, yeah, you just look beautiful. I love the idea of celebrating the legacy. Thank you, guys. I love, I love sharing that. this with everyone. No, and 